Hi, in today's video, we look at how to build an AI agent using the new framework from OpenAI called Swarm. So what are AI agents? AI agents are LLM-powered assistants that can use tools and functions to perform specific tasks like research, data extraction, and more. So you can use agents for many use cases, for example, in a booking system or in ordering applications. They are also helpful in question and answering systems for performing specific tasks. So in this video, I will show you how to get started with this framework. You have noticed here, this is an experimental framework from OpenAI. So you can access the repository on GitHub. In order to use Swarm, you have to install it. So over here, this is the installation guide. It requires Python 3.10 or a later version. You can install the Swarm framework in two ways. I tried this command on an Apple Silicon Mac, but I got an error. If you use the first option and get an error, you should try appending dash dash upgrade so you can copy the command and for example, go to the command line and paste it there. Then you should add dash dash upgrade. I have it already installed, so I'm not going to run it. Another alternative is to install it with this command. So after the installation, you can now go ahead and start using Swarm for building AI agents. I have already created an empty file in Kesa, so we are going to use that for this demonstration. So you can see here, I have the file basicswarmagent.py. After installing the Swarm framework, we need to import it into the project. So we can say from Swarm, import Swarm, an agent. The next step is to start a Swarm agent. We can do this by initializing the Swarm client. So the Swarm client serves as the entry point of all the agents. Behind the scenes, it will manage all API calls to OpenAI. Next, we are going to create a manager agent. So let's define a function here. With this function, we call it transfer to agent B. Then we return agent B. In this example, we want to have two agents agent A and agent B. So you can think of this function transfer to agent B as a switchboard in a real telephone calls. So once a user enters a prompt, it will first go to agent A and then we use this function to transfer to agent B. So this is like a switchboard in an actual telephone calls. After creating a function to manage the agents, we need to create the actual agents. So let's create agent A here. Whenever you create an agent, you need to add specific characteristics to the agent. You can specify settings like the large language model you want to use, instructions for the agent, and also the functions you want the agent to use. Let's press Stop to autocomplete it. Over here, I'm going to remove the model. You can also specify the name of the agent. So let's say we call this Agent A. Then we leave the instructions as you are a helpful assistant. Then over here, we will add functions. So the function of agent A is to transfer the conversation to agent B. So these are the fundamental characteristics of agent A. We have the name, instructions, and functions. Next, we can go ahead and create agent B. Agent B will also have a similar characteristics as agent A. So here we have the name as agent B. With the instructions for agent B, we will say you speak only in Finnish. Our next step is to run the main agent that will start the conversation. So over here, we will say response equals client.run. In this function, we have to specify the agent that starts the conversation. So that will be agent A. Next, we specify the message for agent A. Over here, we are going to use a dictionary. So I'll bring an equal sign and square bracket. Inside that, we put carry braces. Then we specify row and content. Let's modify the content and state, I want to speak to agent B. Next, we can get a response by printing the last element of message. So we can say response.message. Let's change this to messages. So we can now print the response by accessing the last element of messages. So this is all you need to do to create your first agent. First, you need to install Swarm and make the necessary imports. Then you create a Swarm client, which serves as the entry point of all the agents. We create a transfer function and specify what we want the function to return. Then we add the agents and their characteristics. 
So we can now save the file and go to the terminal and run the app with Python tray followed by the file name. You can see over here, we now have the response in Finnish language. Let's also change it from Finnish to English. That is the instruction of agent B and run the file again. We now have the response, I'm sorry, I'm not able to connect to agent B. Over here, we made a mistake, so we have to put agent equals agent A and save the file again. Then I'll go to the terminal and run it. We get a different response. You can now see here, we have the message, I'm transferring to agent B now. How can they assist you today? You can see here, we didn't specify any model we want to use. If you don't specify the model you want to use, by default GPT-4 will be used. So if I go to my OpenAI account, previously I made some API calls and that is GPT-4. For example, we can now use GPT-4 or Mini so that we can have cheaper API calls. So over here, we can specify the model we want to use. Let's call it Mini Model and specify that as GPT-4 or Mini. Next, we have to add the model to the agents and save the document and run the file again. You have noticed here, you are now connected to agent B. How can I assist you today? If you want to see how the conversation is handled and transferred behind the scenes, you can add another parameter here, that is debug. So we set debug to true and run the app again. So this is what is happening behind the scenes. That is how the conversation starts and how it is transferred from agent A to agent B. So this is a very basic example of how you can use the Swarm framework to build AI agents. For more advanced examples, you can go to the GitHub repo. Over here, they have some advanced examples, so you can go through them. They have Personal Shopper, Support Boot, and more.